Uh, he's ready to go, ready for the big fight. And it's a big fight. It's big, be big fight. Julio Cesar Chavez on yeah, June 7th. That's a big one. Also, Michelle uh, concludes today her marine. Sorry, not my brother, brother Oscar, because I always won those battles. Right. Oscar De La Hoya, when we come back. Getting ready for the fight of his career. Next month, he faces his childhood idol, Julio Cesar Chavez, for the Super Lightweight Championship of the World. We recently sat down with De La Hoya to talk about what may become his ultimate glory. Eddie Okuna. A record 21 fights, all but two ending in knockouts. The Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, hits like Tyson, smiles like a movie star. His goal, to own more boxing titles than anyone in history. And in his way, one of the greatest boxers Mexico has ever produced, Julio Cesar Chavez. And now it's come down to this. Oscar is facing the biggest fight of his life, and he needs to train, train very, very hard. And he's chosen the Southern California mountains to build his training center for that. The mountains do give Oscar a chance to train and quietly reflect on occasion, except on this day when you clearly see he is a world champion. How do you stay humble when you have, you know, 5,000 media adoring you, worshiping everything you say, and, and bowing down to the great Oscar de la Hoya? I mean, how do you, how do you stay humble? Well, you're, the, you're their idol now, and you're actually the best thing in boxing. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's all came so fast, you know, I mean, uh, I've worked hard for what I have, and, and um, you know, I guess this is the payback, you know, all this attention and the media and, and the people. Uh, Do you feel like a king? No, not at all, not at all. Still keep that food stamp in your wallet? Oh, yeah, definitely. I still have it. Um, Why do you do that? Well, to, to, uh, to kind of think back at the times where, uh, where we almost didn't have anything, you know, sometimes didn't have food on the table, you know, to think about those times and to kind of bring myself down, you know. There's times where, where I think, you know what, I'm on top of the world and I have everything I want, you know, but and then I look at that stamp and I say, you know what, you gotta come back down, put your feet on the ground, keep your head on the shoulders, and just keep on doing the job that you've been doing. And just always stay humble, always, um, you know, be nice to everybody, be courteous, and, and, and um, you know, all this will last a very long time if you, if you just keep your head straight. In 1992, De La Hoya won his gold medal, which he promised to give to his mother. Tragically, she died just before his Olympic victory. Still, she lives on in her son's fighting spirit. She was a, um, like a confident booster, you know. She, uh, she always told me that I was going to win any fight that I fought. She was always there to, uh, to cheer me on. She was always there to tell me, you know, if, if you let this guy beat you up, you know, I'm not going to make dinner for you or something, you know. I, I would always have to prove to her that, that, I, that I'm, uh, I'm the best out there. He is older, wiser, and now, with intense training, a much stronger fighter than the Olympian of 92. June 7, we were all going to see a different Asco de la Hoya. I am pretty sure the first one who's going to be surprised will be Chavez. With Chavez clearly on his mind, De La Hoya somehow finds a way to keep his feet firmly on the ground. I choose to be a role model, and that's something I really believe in. And indeed, he is a fine, fine role Look model. Look at him, and you think he couldn't hit anybody. I know, he is a very Such sweet a... person, a nice, nice guy, so great role model. Focus, so Boy, can he hit. Yeah. 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 Like Tyson. I, mean, I don't want to make him mad. Like I'm just they call saying. him baby at the, Tyson. At the end of the interview, he slugged Chuck. <laughs> it's nice to see, though, that an athlete says, I choose to be a role model. Well, I suppose yeah. the other guys, hey, man, you guys and put me on this pedestal. Yeah. That's right. We are going to keep up to date.